Yo, I'm Bob, and I'm into Masters of the Universe, going to be unboxing the Masters of the Universe Origins Horde Trooper. So these are the robotic minions, the grunts in Hordax Horde. So I learned from the Netflix audio descriptions of, you know, various He-Man shows that the Horde has this, this little um, bat insignia there for its for its symbol so i like that they actually add the, the little sticker there on the bottom of the of the package well i'm guessing that is a kind of a bat like insignia there it sure looks like a bat with the wings turn it around there's the back of the card all right Guessing we get a mini comic. I probably won't get much use out of that, but I'm glad that they pack it in there. That's a really small comic. I'll set that aside. Hopefully, he's not going to fall out of that box. Looks like he's in there pretty well. And there he is. I'm going to pause this, break him out of his little figure tray, and we'll have a closer look. Back in the blink of an eye. So Horde Trooper is out of his packaging and he's ready to march. I like his armor design. The thing about robots and cartoons is you could always slice them up and not get in trouble with uh, with the sensors. I like his domed head. It's a pretty cool looking armor design on the front here. Just really buff. They gave him a what I'm guessing to be a battle staff or possibly some kind of uh, shock stick, more like a staff. Maybe he can fire bolts out of it. I would imagine, would have imagined he could possibly come with a crossbow like Hordak or maybe a blaster or something. But you just get the staff. There he is from the back. So I think the action feature here, you are supposed to push a little button and uh, he's supposed to have battle damage, like the old toy, which I never had any of these in, in the 80s, because I was a really, really, really little guy when uh, these came out. But you're supposed to push a little button on his chest here, and yeah, he kind of falls open like that. So, you know, maybe He-Man or She-Ra just slices him up. <laughs> So there's his, his inner workings there, not doing too well. That is a really cool effect there. And from what I understand from uh, videos that I've watched, uh, like Pixel Dan's Origins videos, uh, you can actually detach this guy's torso. Well, I think all the, the action figures in, in this line are built so you can uh, mix and match parts. And I, I kind of worked at this guy's torso here to try to uh, pull him apart, but he's not really wanting to cooperate and I really don't want to break him. So he's got really nice tight joints. Uh, you probably can detach him uh, from, his, uh, from his legs if you want to. Uh, you can remove his head too. So if you, you know, had a He-Man and if you wanted to put him in a uh, Horde Trooper disguise, you could put a He-Man head on, uh, on the ball joint if you wanted to. I haven't taken the head off or anything. Just kind of have him as is. I give this guy a 10 out of 10 just because I really like evil minions, foot soldiers and armies and things like that. It's a really awesome design for uh for an action figure and i think the first time unbeknownst to me that uh, i had seen the horror troopers were uh, that was in the mike young show 
one of the season two episodes where we got to see King Grayskull going up against the Horde in uh, in that big flashback episode. Power of Grayskull, I think it was. And I think they were in the Netflix Revolution show, which I just watched. We got to see a little bit of the, uh, the Horde troopers in that. Um, I wonder if they have more weapons. It would be cool if we could get some accessory packs for... Um, Eternian palace guards and things like that. So we can kind of arm up some of the uh, some of the soldiers in the Motu Origins line. Uh, I like him a lot, though. And it's really neat that you can open up his chest and kind of give him a more battle damage look. You can detach him uh, at the waist, detach his, his legs and his head and all that. I just really have a, a phobia of breaking this stuff. Not that, not that I ever have, but I mean, yeah, I'd rather not do that. So you you can probably take the, the torso off, though, if you want. Um, yeah, I'd say i give him a 10 out of 10. Wish he could have had a few more accessories, though, but I love this robot quite a bit. And I like the fact that Hordak can mass produce them if he wants to. So yeah, that'll do for this Masters of the Universe Origins figure review. 10 out of 10 for him, and I will hear you guys... Next time.